In one of the lectures, I said that it is now fairly straightforward to produce like maps like this with statistics. I'll tell you later what these data are. And in this clip, I just want to go through it. It's absolutely optional, but you know, you can create quite exciting stuff. So I just showed you this to show what in the end we want to get. Let's start from the beginning. What you will need is a Google account. At least I only know how to do this via Google Docs. Um, I'm sure there are other ways, but this is just the way I know it. So you need a Google account, so I have that open here. Uh, and then we need some data which we want to display. So to get the data, I will actually go to the Gapminder and um, go to the data section. Um, I'm going to look at one of the Millennium Development Goals, uh, clean water, safe water access, uh, improved water, Millennium Development Goal, improved water source, overall access. That's exactly the one which I want. So uh, let's open the spreadsheet here. Okay, so here we got the spreadsheet. Uh, with the data. It turns out uh, I will publish a practice exam and um, uh, in there one of the questions will refer to this data set, although you, then you won't have to look at this. Basically what we see here is the pro proportion of the population in any country that have has access to uh, um, safe water. Of course, if you look, for instance, at Germany, 100%. Uh, have and there are lots of other countries or basically all the development developed countries where 100% have uh, access to safe drinking water but in other countries especially African countries here for instance Ethiopia can see not even half have access to safe water although that proportion is increasing so we want to we want to display um, this uh, in a in a map or basically say the colors in, in the countries will represent the proportions here. So this, uh, let me first save this file um, on my on my drive. What I'm going examples. Yeah. Yes, I had done that before. So here we go. So here's our file now. You need to go to your Google Docs and you need to create a new document and you want to create a table, not a spreadsheet, but a table. It's what I what I call sometimes fusion tables. Okay? It doesn't appear here in the name, so they may change their language, uh, but that's what it used to be called. Now we want to import data. Uh, here you find your file, click next. In the meantime, I have a sip of coffee. Here we go, we want to import all of these. Uh, let's give this a different name. Uh, water, let's call it test water. Uh, you should of course always make sure you remember where the data come from, from Gapminder. Uh, and we continue or finish. In this, so now you have something which looks a bit like a spreadsheet, but you, you see it's not it's not a Google spreadsheet. It's not so easy to, to edit things, although you can click in here and change the names. Um, but one thing you have these uh, funny little things here. If I click on this, you realize immediately Google has realized that this name Afghanistan is actually related to the country. Okay, so it is a made immediately realized we have, um, sorry, what was that? Um, Afghanistan, uh, well, this doesn't look like Afghanistan. Okay, this looks more like Albania. Uh, perhaps I clicked, uh, I clicked on Albania, that's the second country. So it immediately realizes that the these names here are actually locations, okay? And they're important for, uh, for the map. Uh, we need to ensure that uh, Google knows these are the locations. We can do that by going to edit, go to modify columns, and the column headed proportion of the population 
that, that is the column with the uh, country names and we can already see it has indicated here this uh, location uh, tab. So that's all fine, so we can cancel here. Then you click on map. Okay, and you, you can see what Excel does. It basically is there's something happening in the background and it, it, it's trying to map all these location names to places on uh, on the country, uh, on a map. I try to identify these maps, so that will take a while. Gives me another chance to have a sip of coffee. I may also quickly go back to the Gapminder web page. I pointed that website out already. An, an enormous amount of interesting uh, of interesting data here, and it's really worthwhile to uh, to have a look to have a look around. And as always, interesting stuff, interesting uh, little clips with Hans Rosling. Um, certainly worth a visit. So let's go back. Okay, so it has uh, finished. I think I actually have to refresh the screen. Okay, no, you don't have to. So, but basically, that was an important step for, for Google to get its stuff sorted out. Now, what we want to do is we want to, to plot an intensity map. So, click on the intensity map. It does some stuff, and here we go. Okay, this is how easy it was. Here is our map, and you can see the um, the the darker the green, uh, the higher the percentage of the population having access to um, to clean water. Here in the value, so you can see location. It has identified our column. I was had this long complicated name, but that's the column of our country names. The value you need to tell Google also which values it should put into the map. And uh, we started here with 1995, and you can see that there are quite a number of countries also in Southeast Asia where you know the green isn't really that uh, that dark. China 74%, Mongolia 60 about, okay, Papua New Guinea 40% only down here, and in Africa quite a lot of countries. Some countries we don't have data. Okay. And we can change the year, so let's go to 2000, and we should see that the map gets a little bit darker, 2005, even darker, 2008, the uh, last data available, yet darker. Okay, China has now by almost 90%. Uh, percent. We don't have Libyan data anymore. We've lost Libya. Um, okay, so here you go. You've created you've created your map. Now, before I did this, I thought, hmm, if you do that, you may want to keep this or use this in perhaps an essay if you have if you have data that relate to this. Um, it's unfortunately not not immediately intuitive how to do that, and I, I figured out a way I'll show you, but perhaps there are easier ways, but I'm not an expert on this, I just figured this out this morning. Firstly, you can create web links to this, okay, so you could, for instance, it says here it has, if you're working with a website, get embeddable code. Uh, for those who do HTML, you know that's a bit of code which you put in your website, and then you can see the map, but it says you have to uh, Right now, only you can see this, okay? You have to change that to a public file, and to do that, you need to click on Share, and you choose Public. Okay, so now, you can see we get, we can get an embeddable code. So, you know, that's complicated code. I just copy this, and to show you how this works, I go to the Blackboard site, I go to Describing Data, and I will include uh, that map um, map on access to say water. I will want to include this here now. Um, I no, this is HTML code, so you don't know this. Okay, this is how I manipulate Blackboard. Uh, this uh, then you're just consuming Blackboard, and here you go. Here's the map. Okay, and you can see it on the web page. Now you, you can see this is sort of cut off at edges. You know, when you do with web pages, you have to 
and sort of things you may have to change. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is in principle to include this on a um, on a web page. Uh, however, if you want to include this into, you can also if you click on get link, you basically get a website page. Actually, let me show this as well. And I could um, do the following. I'll get the map here. And I'll produce a web link, and here you use just the web page which you were given. So now we have the, the map down here, and we should, we should, and I can't, let me give it one more go, why doesn't it appear here? Okay, nothing appeared yet, let me try and do it. I'll cancel this, I'll just introduce this, okay. Water map, and I'm going to open it in a new window. Submit. So here, okay, so here's now our web link, and you can see if we click on it, we'll just go straight to that page. And, that, and here you can now, or the user can now also change this. You've made your spreadsheet, or I've made my spreadsheet public, so, you know, everyone who has that link can look at it. So, let me close this again. Lastly, what I want to show you is how would you use that in a, um, uh, in a Word document. Let me do the just want to get rid of, uh, of this. So also visualize, let me just start. Okay, so it's back. Um, here's a new Word document. What I would do is the following. Um, just So my trick is I first take, let me make this a little bit narrow so that our legend here is a little closer to the map, okay. I take a, a screenshot in, in my Windows machine that is I press Alt and print screen. And uh, I'm sure you can do that with any computer, but perhaps with Apple's there's a different combination. And then I just paste this into Word, okay. So here I have it in WordPress, and now it has all, all this other stuff around it, which isn't very nice. Um, but um, actually, you should be able, can I crop a picture here for my picture? Crop. Okay, so you could actually crop it here. So you sort of around, cut around the edges, but I'm not quite sure how exactly that works. You have to do it manually, that's a bit clumsy. But what you can do is you can save this as a picture. So let me save this as a picture. Uh, I'll call it test map one. I save. Okay. Now I'll go to test map one. I'll open this with Microsoft Office. Uh, again, in Apple, you can find something similar. And here I can crop the picture. And here I can crop it quite conveniently by just moving these edges. So I want to keep the legend. I'll do this here. And here. And I click OK. OK. And here's our new picture. Actually, I'll crop a little bit more from the bottom so we don't have the wide edge. So here we go. And then I'll save this. This is now my, my new test map. One, now uh, this has done its job, and now I want to include the new picture called test map one. And here you have your beautiful little map which you have created. What I don't know is whether you can manipulate uh, the, um, the background settings. I'm 
not quite sure. Okay, but then in the end, I think that's all. Uh, not really that important. Okay. So this is really all I want to show you. Um, I, so basically what you need is a set of data and some identifiable location. Okay, you can also use coordinates uh, and oh, I, not, not I want to show you uh, on names of counties and stuff. No, okay, that's, that's no, I'll show you, I promise you. Uh, oh, move map of chocolate. In, if you go to the data block in the Guardian, um, there's a quite uh, two very important resources, spreadsheet of all our spreadsheets. Uh, I've already told you that the Guardian is really good with sort of you know, collating data and um, there's a spreadsheet here which basically just provides links to all the spreadsheets I have. That's uh, is coming. Something is very slow right now. Let me try it again. Okay, so that's too slow. Let me try the old one. Okay, yeah. And uh, there was another link yeah, I didn't show you. It was called the Rosetta, uh, the Guardian Rosetta. Um, it's quite important in here if you look at the uh, if you look at the spreadsheet they have Google spreadsheets they use Google spreadsheets the sort of lists of local authorities okay and sort of codes some of them have codes that's sometimes very important to merge uh, to merge data NHS trusts here and these informations will help you or well, some of these will be recognizable as um, as location codes by Google. Possibly not all of them, but some of them. That will help you if you don't use country data, but you know regional data. Anyway, I'm not going to show this. Admire what we have achieved, and try it yourself. Have fun. <laughs>